Good morning, welcome to my channel. So this is Dennis and I'm gonna take you to Faroe Islands, hopefully, if I don't sink or anything. Let's see how it goes. The current plan is to sail to west coast of Norway to begin with, because from there it is much easier to cross to Faroe Islands. Uh, I might also stop by Shetland Islands, but um, I haven't decided yet. I'll decide that on the way, I think. Depends how well it goes. Let's start the engine. Yes! Goodbye, Arndal! See you next time. Wow, oh, finally left. Arndal It's gonna be behind me for, let's say, two months at least. So excited. Finally out after all these months throughout the winter. And now we're here. The adventure starts. Let's go. We just passed this giant cruise ship. Everybody was waving and everything. That was awesome. Um, yeah, but there's, there's many people who don't like these big cruise ships because, you know, they pollute a lot. But probably good for the tourism. Yeah, very little wind, very little wind, but we'll try. I'll turn off the engine. Oh, that's a good sound. Nah, we just took down the sails. It was just, it's just no wind, and the sails are just slapping back and forth and annoying. So, nah, I'll just wait until tomorrow, I think. Yeah, I don't know where to put my boat here. It doesn't say anything about if I can put it or not. But I'll just do it and see what happens. All right, I just left the uh, Fevik because they didn't have any guest places. So I just dropped my friend off. And now I decided to just sail to uh, Grimstad. It's just three miles away, so not far. Then I'll just go. I'm just gonna stay there overnight and settle down. Put my clothes in place and everything because I just bring my giant backpack with everything in it and just chucked it inside so I'm gonna tidy up for tomorrow I think or should I anchor instead I found this nice place on the map it looks like it's uh, quite well protected from this wind so yeah I'm just gonna go check it out Wait, what a beautiful place this island is called the Whale Island. Maybe they were doing some whaling back in the day. According to the map, there should be like a guest dock over there. So I'm gonna go check it out. I was thinking about anchoring, but it doesn't look like a, a good anchorage here. So yeah, I'll just check out the uh, guest dock. Yeah, it's just over there. I hope it's uh, deep enough. Right, it was more than deep enough. So, wow, this place is nice. I'm very happy that I didn't go to Grimsta. This is so much nicer. Okay, let's go explore. Not a bad place, wow. Oh, look at the beauty, oh my God. Oh man, I'm so happy just doing this. I was like thinking about doing this for the whole winter, I was Working on the boat, changing the, like, everything. That was a lot of work, but finally it is here. I'm just so, so happy. So satisfied with the uh, progression so far. Ah, yes, adventure time. Right after I arrived, I went for a little hike and explored the island. And tomorrow I'll be sailing towards Kristiansand. There's many old houses on this island and back in the day there were many people living here but now there's only a old couple who's living on this island permanently. Rest are just tourists and people who have vacation homes. Wow, what a place. Also this sound. 
sound of the wind in the forest and the trees. Good morning! So it's morning. I slept so good. Uh, so today's plan is getting up, make breakfast and set sail towards Kristiansa. So let's get going. Right, let's race the main. Now we're gonna sail direct to Kristiansand and according to Windy it should be I should get like good winds today so let's see how it goes. Alright looks like there's enough wind for me to sail so I'm gonna open up Genoa and I'll stop the engine after that. Alright, we are sailing alright. This is awesome. Nice. Good speed, good angle on the wind. I'm gonna turn off the engine now. And we are finally sailing in this beautiful weather. Look at it. So we're gonna make around 28 miles. And that's gonna take us uh, at least six hours, I think, seven hours even. The wind is around uh, 14 knots maybe, something like that. It should pick up later, so we'll get more speed. And the wind died again. There's just no wind. I was just bobbing around, doing one knot. Um, so yeah, with that speed, I wouldn't make it to the festival. So I just, yeah, I'm just gonna go with the engine for a bit, maybe an hour, see how it goes. Because winds are supposed to pick up later, so let's hope it does. Oh boy, that's a lot of rain! <laughs> I'm so happy this spray hood arrived. So happy. Holy crap, look at that. Finally, at last, the winds are back. I just had like taken down the main and rolled in the Genoa and everything and like 10 minutes later the wind came back. I'm like, okay, so well, at least now we're sailing. Amazing. This is so much better. was a cold nature. They used these boats to rescue operations back in the day. pretty good progress we only got uh, 90 miles left so arrival in around four hours so if this wind keeps with us that is so yeah fantastic finally some proper sailing very happy yeah, as you can see here the rudder is almost in the middle that means the boat is very well balanced and that way the autopilot doesn't work too much and that is really good for the autopilot so it does last much longer ok 
Okay, I'm getting hungry now, so I'm just gonna eat something. Um, I'm just gonna eat one of these freeze-dried packets. So let's go do that. First time cooking while sailing. first packet that comes out this is yeah carry let's try it oh god i can feel the motion sickness already <laughs> i want to get out already getting like a slight headache so i haven't been out on the sea for a long time all right oh shit <laughs> that was close to burn my hands There you go. There you go. It's all brewed up. It needs a couple more minutes, but not bad. Yeah, good boy. Mr. Ray is doing a very good job steering the boat. And there's a duck. I can see. The AIS I really like how the boat behaves in the sea, it feels good, it's a good boat I, I think and it's just the way it just goes through the waves and it doesn't slam, it, it's, it's awesome, I love this boat. Yeah, we're gonna turn right around that little island and um, behind that lighthouse it looks like I did feel a bit seasick uh, throughout the journey. Like it was more like a light headache and a bit. I felt a bit queasy. But after eating that um, food, I felt better. I also discovered that if I'm very hungry and then I keep getting hungry, then I get more seasick. So it actually helps to eat something. But also, I haven't been out in the sea for a long time. So yeah, that also plays a role. But now, now I'm good. All good. No problems. It's quite lively outside. Woohoo! Awesome. Ah, oh, this is so much fun. I love sailing. All right. So I'm gonna do a jive maneuver. I really don't like doing that, but I have to because now I have to turn towards Gusian Sun. So let's do it. Uh, Let's see. Okay. Oh. Let's go. There's a boy right in front of me, I didn't see it. I don't want to catch that. Ah, oh, bad timing. Bad timing with that boy. Alright, I think we're past it. Ah, oh, we can turn. Alright, here we go. Oh, 
boy. <laughs> ah, all right. Let the main go. Ah, that's it. Oi. Autopilot back on. So the Genoa doesn't like it. Uh, the wind is like dead behind us. Uh, that makes the main block out the Genoa. So I might even just roll that in, see how it goes. Okay, rolled in the Genoa and we still got the same speed just with the um, main, which was 4.5. So I'll just keep going like this, I think, for a while. Driving, Christian Sand, fantastic. Right next to it, on the left, I think that's a concert area, but where I'm gonna be tonight and tomorrow and get absolutely hammered. <laughs> Let's go. And after arriving Christian Sand, I went straight to the festival, had my fun, got back, but the marina was so rolly, it was tugging all the way, so I couldn't sleep for two days. And when I woke up with a hangover, and while the boat was rolling and tugging, I got seasick on top of that. So that was a little of fun. Oh, what a what a trip. That was awesome. But I'm knackered. So let's see. Tomorrow, no, in a couple of days, I'll be sailing to Mandal. And that is around, again, 20 miles. But uh, I have a friend who's going to join me. So that's going to be nice. And he's gonna be with me until Stavanger. So, yeah. Double-handed. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.